Okay, here we go. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, PunchingBagSkunk.com here today with a, well, I was gonna say short video, but you guys know me. I, it's never short with me. As I always say short. I try to keep the 10, 15 minutes, but you know, I, I always end up going off on something. But anyway, PunchingBagSkunk.com here, or we get the best unboxing. Uh, where are we today? I wasn't was, was gonna make a video today. I was just gonna. Uh, I read another article. I wrote an article this morning for the website, and I came with a great idea. Uh, uh, I was gonna write another article uh, because uh, I was I was uh, doing some research, and I was finding a lot of people, a lot of uh, uh, people uh, was uh, the question of how to protect their hands when hitting the heavy bag, uh, and it seemed like a, it was, a, it was a, like a valid question uh, for a lot of people. Um, so I was gonna write an article on you know, uh, ways to protect your hands. What's it? Wait, wait, I'll get into that, that. I'll get into it in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I was, uh, uh, write that article, but I said, uh, you know what, I already wrote an article. I'm just gonna put it on, put it on the film. So here we are, Greg from BunchyBackSkunk.com, uh, uh, giving it to you straight, as I always do, with no, no fluff or nada. Um, normally I don't answer uh, uh, comments or questions uh, uh, on film. I I just get, hit you with an email. If you got a question, I'll just hit you right on the website. Answer you then. But there was a couple of questions that I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna address on 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 the camera. <laughs> uh, that what was someone uh, the people put in the comments. So the first question was uh, it was concerning my BMW shirt that I always wear. The question was Greg, why do you always wear the same shirt? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, the reason why I wear the same shirt is because I want to wear the same shirt. I ain't like that one. <laughs> now I'll get it. All right. Uh, I wear this shirt because I don't care. Okay. I wear this shirt because I'm not trying to be a big YouTube star. You, this, this is my office here. All right. So I'm not, I don't get. I, I'm not trying to put a suit on every time I want to take. Want to take. I'll take in my pajamas. I, I. I don't. I don't. I'm not trying to put. I'm, Again, I'll, I'll state this for 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 you knuckleheads. I I don't care about ad revenue on, on YouTube. I, I, mean, I care about it, but who is anybody would want to uh, make some money online? Uh, uh, but I'm just saying that's not. I I, I own my own business. I, I'm I'm not in this for the money. I'm in it because I want to. I like boxing and I want to tell the truth. You know, there's too much lies and fluff and error out there uh, concerning the boxing game. Okay, so I don't care about fancy studios. Some people got fancy studios. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. I mean, literally, guys, a beautiful studio, lighting, all this good stuff, and, and they have no, they just cool it. So the, the content, see, the content here on punchybagskunk.com is real. You know, go see my video. You, you know what time it is. You know, you know where how I hit them. All right. So, so I wear this BMW shirt because this is now my uniform. Okay. This, this my plus it looks nice. You know, it looks nice. It's a nice shirt. Uh, and, 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 and it's my uniform now. And how do you know? How, how do you know BMW's not giving me some money for, for wearing this shirt every single time? <laughs> anyway, that's that question. Pose it on, pose it on. So we'll try to get through this real, real quick, real quick. Uh, same shirt. What, 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 what's that in your hand? You know, in a lot of my videos, I got this in my hand. I'm gonna go real quick, huh? Real quick so you can get to what I wanna talk about. Uh, this thing is called a V. I've had a same right in uh, almost three years now, and uh, this is what I, I use. The, the, this is what I use uh, as kind of a, a smoking alternative. It's a vapor. I can tell you the name of it, but I'm not. I'm not promoting it right now, so I'm just trying to go really fast. So this is called a vape. It's a, it's a cigarette alternative. You don't want to get the poisonous uh, poisons from cigarettes. So you smoke one of these, and it's just typically just steam. Heated steam with a little bit of nicotine in it, because I got the lowest dose of nicotine. See? There you go. Okay, that's what I have in my hand sometimes, occasionally. Uh, and the last question was, uh, uh, it's not even a question, it's just a statement. Uh, why do you keep, why, when you rent, when you rent, I can't understand what you're saying. Now, you know what? <laughs> that, that, whoever wrote, that, that, that is actually kind of right. Cause I, I go off and I just keep, and I, once I get passionate about what I'm trying to say, I grab the fire, bing, 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 bing. So I get it. Sometimes I, I gotta slow down. I, I gotta slow down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow down for you guys, uh, on, on my videos now, I mean, you know, even when I'm mad or I'm excited, I'm going to, I'm going to slow down so you can get, so I can, you know, whatever. Anyway, let's get this out of the way real quick. 
Uh, uh, we're, 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 we're check us out on Twitter, Reddit, Tumblr, Blogger, Pinterest, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Mix, YouTube, and we're on Facebook and Instagram, of course. Uh, yeah. Now, when we talk about, uh, like I said, I was uh, talking about uh, people. Uh, I was looking out online, uh, I was doing some research, and people was talking about the, uh, uh, you know, how do you not, you know, scrape your knuckles up when you hit the bat. A lot of people are boxing. A lot, a lot of people uh, use boxing as uh, their preferred form of fitness uh, to get in shape. You know, even, even pros. Like, if you know, like, a lot of basketball players, uh, they were over there five minutes in. Uh, 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 the, the basketball players, you know, they, they come to boxes to uh, work, get their work on. Because boxers are the most uh, finely tuned uh, athletes in the world. I don't care what no one said, football, track, baseball, whatever. Boxers are the, are the ones that in shape, the, are the best shape. Let's put it that way. Uh, hands down. You know, other sports come to boxers to, to do their work on. You know what I mean? Uh, because boxers, listen, the fight, a full fight, it's a half an hour fight. That's that's a half an hour, bing, boom, boom. That's a half an hour. Think about that for a second. You know what I mean? So you have to be in tremendous shape uh, to to sustain that. You know what I mean? That you know the, the fight for a half, a twelve round, fifteen round fight. That that you got to be in dynamite shape. That's why a lot, like I said, basketball players come to boxes. Uh, they do that, do that. Even UFC guys back in the day, not so much now, but a little bit back in the day, UFC guys would uh, uh, come to learn uh, you know hand techniques. You know they know how to flip you and lock you up and chicken wings and all that stuff. But um, um, they, they they didn't know how to use the hands, so they, they come to fight the hand. You know what I mean? But look, it is not nothing complicated about protecting your hands. You know what I mean? Like I, I was laughing because when I go online and I see uh, uh, you know all these different uh, articles, how to protect your hands, how to protect the upper space, blisters, all these articles. And when I went down line, click on the websites, these. these People pop up that, I, I mean, how, 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 how do you even know? Like, these guys obviously not a boxer. Never been a boxer. I, I know boxers. I know fighters. I look at you and tell if you're a fighter. I can look at you and tell if you're a fighter. It, it, not a fighter. So, you know, but they're busy telling people uh, 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 how to do this and how to do that. And that's what activates you. That's why, that's how punchybackskunk.com was formed because they just got tired of jackasses. Always up there giving up wrong information and or, or people that are coming into boxing that don't know a damn thing about boxing, but they're busy, you know, trying to tell people, yeah, I just aggravated it. But I'm not gonna get aggravated. I'm gonna stay focused today and I'm gonna talk slow and calm today. Okay, got it? All right? So I'm keeping I'm keeping moving. But you know, you know, one of these guys was on there telling people uh uh that um you know, you make sure you wrap your hands, which is obvious, you know what I mean? And and, and tell, one nut was saying you put your, uh, put some kind of Vaseline on your knuckles before you work out. Now, what kind of bull crap is that? <laughs> I, I kid you not. Another guy was saying that, you know, you, 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 your gloves are too stiff. You know, you gotta break your gloves. And all these, all these ridiculous Thing. So let me tell you something. Back in, I know I used to go back in the day, but back in the day, in 1978, we when we started, I started, I was a kid, like I don't know, 13, 14, and we started boxing. We come into the gym, we had the old time rap. Now the fighters that know them old rap, not the Velcro ones they got now, pretty ones they got now. These old, the old style, style Tupperware raps. People that know boxing know exactly what I'm talking about. Them old skinny Tupperware raps. They think like wrapping sandpaper around the air. And it was no Velcro, you had to tie it, you know what I mean? And you hit the bag, and when you get done, your skin, just skin, your knuckles, see here, skinned up. Just all skinned up. And I remember uh, my, my first knuckle screen. And uh, went to Archie Johnson and said, hey, ah, get out of here, boy, toughen up. And that's pretty much all he said. <laughs> you know, we don't want to hear that kind of stuff. So, when you're blaming the gloves and the wraps and all that stuff, it's basically just your your knuckle. You gotta get they gotta get toughened up. So it, it ain't no magical thing that's gonna protect them. Here's the choice here: have ugly knuckles and be tough, or have pretty knuckles and be flimsy. Okay, they, they, there's your choices. Because you, you, to toughen them up, they, look at these knuckles. Are you kidding me? They, 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 they're gonna have to rip, 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 rip until they just get tired of ripping to the to the calluses or the skin gets tougher where it doesn't rip every time you 
throw a punch. Now, there's a lot of factors that go into that, into uh, protecting your hands when you hit the back. And I'm not by no means saying don't protect your hands. I, I got on fighting center. Look, I broke every finger. Every, Every finger on this hand has been broke at least three times. Now I'm talking about every single finger at least three times on both hands. This 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 thumb has been broke at least 15 times. So through the years. So you can see I got a, uh, a slight arthritis from punching a bag uh, for years. So I'm trying to explain to you that there's, there's things you got to pay anyway with boxing. You really got to box. And people don't tell you about that side with, with your, your hearing and your, your you know, broken ribs and broken jaws. And they, they, they don't want to speak about that. You know? but, but anyway, I'm getting off track. But stay focused. Stay focused. All right, so the thing is, when, when you're protecting your hands, it, 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 the wraps are, 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 are gonna, you should wrap your hands. Uh, like I said, I'm not advocating that, just take care. I, I didn't do that for years, and I know uh, a lot of injuries that got to my hands that came uh, as a direct result of me not uh, wrapping them up properly. I remember Philly so he said, hey, go wrap your hands. Take the time to wrap your hands. And I, all oh, right, just go wrap your and I'm young strong and I just put my gloves on, hit back, boom, boom, boom. Now you gotta keep in mind too that uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm powerful, right? I mean, I, 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 bam, I, I hit with power. So the more force you hit with, obviously, you know, it's gonna be more, more, more you know, it's gonna hurt you, it's gonna, you could injure your, your, your bones in your hand uh, from the force that you hit the bag with. So, uh, but, 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 the, but to sum this all up, to sum this all up, what I, what I, to sum this all up is I'm saying that there's no easy way to sidestep stuff that has to be done. And what I mean by that is that when you say my hand, my doubles are bleeding every time, well, you get, it's just gonna go the process to it and get toughened up. You know what I mean? It's not gonna, you're not gonna break the glove in and mysteriously now you don't have to toughen them up. You're not gonna wrap your hands up in fancy wraps and then mysteriously you're not gonna have to toughen them up. You're gonna have to toughen them up. So, so you know what I mean? So it did. They, they stop cutting and ripping when the skin on your knuckles get tough enough where it doesn't rip and, you know, you're not gonna, uh, 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 let me tell you, one, one, you're not gonna go hit the bag and, uh, don't, and don't expect your hands to be ripping up, uh, if you're going home and you're soaking them. I mean, and I, I always say so, we soak them with Epsom salt and stuff like that. But I'm saying, like, you got, you, you know, you got lotion on your hands. Just let them be for a while. You, they got it. It's a, it's a process, all right. So so it ain't the glove. I know you can say that, but I've used tough wear tough 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 wear gloves back in the day. That was so uh, sixteen ounce gloves that was heavy. It's all hell uh, from sweating out. I mean, some of them stunk like like you wouldn't believe. You can stick your hand in some of these gloves and then and smile or whatever and take them off. And then your hand, ah, you stinking for like friggin', yeah, for for all night. You know what I mean? So, so they're heavy gloves. You know what I mean? We we little kids, big giant gloves, boxing. So, you know what I mean? So it, it's it's just everyone's trying. See, this is why when I always I feel a rent coming on because this is what aggravates me so much about boxing these days. Everybody's looking for shortcuts. You know what I mean? It's just simple thing like that. Just let your hands bleed till they till they don't bleed no more. How's that? You know what I mean? Just let them bleed till they don't bleed no more. You know, and I ran my hands bleeding and scratched up. I was 11 years old scratching my hands up till they got tough. They used to tell, tell us take karate when I was 10, 11, where, where the karate instructor used to make us jam our hands in the, in the sand at first. Then after sand, you go to a rice. Then after rice, you go to pebbles, little red rocks. And you know, this is old school. You know what I mean? So just toughen up. You know what I mean? You're gonna scrape your hand. You're gonna get worse than that. I keep telling people, you guys think boxing is, um, it, boxing's too pretty now. It's, 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 it's way too, I, and, I, and I like to tell the ugly side of boxing. You know what I mean? I like to tell the ugly side of boxing. And the ugly side of boxing is this. This here, 30% hearing in it. All right, 30%. Over the bone chip, broken nose, tooth, knocked back, from a headbutt, the skull it. Uh, 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 I, I, this one though does it. I'm not, I, I'm not sure how much, but this one's kind of affected too. Cause I got this one busted twice, this one busted once, but this one I could still hear pretty good in it. Uh, this one was was the one that, that was giving me problems that time from with uh, with the hearing. I uh, haven't checked it in a lot of times. Uh, broken ribs at least five, at least five times. Uh, got a floating rib even to this day that just didn't go back into the right place. So it's kind of weird. Uh, click, click, click. Uh, uh, 
12 rotator cuff. This arm twice. Yeah, if you if you know anything about 12 rotator, which is a common boxing injury, a lot of fighters, it's not like a pitcher, you know, a pitcher in baseball, they get the rotator cuffs a lot because they're whipping that whipping that thing. Same like with boxing, you're whipping them punches. Whack! Bop! Bop! You're whipping them punches. So, you know, you know, you can tear your rotator cuff. I tore this one twice, this one once. But this one was actually worse off. Uh, uh, you know, uh, broken jaw, uh, and, and we don't want to talk about, you know, just the brain, you know, trauma. This, this is a fight game, man. You know what I mean? You get trauma. Every, every time you get your brain hits your skull, that's a concussion. It's just the severity of the concussion. I told people that it's just the severity of the concussion. You know, being KO, out cold, <sighs> sleep, and that's severe concussion. You're knocked out. Uh, but if you need to, what you call your bell run, bing, and you're, you're, in, you're, you're in that space for his conscious and his unconscious and you're right here okay get it conscious I, i'm right now i'm conscious i'm talking to you hey i'm conscious everything i'm conscious knocked out unconscious bell rung right in the middle that's why i tell these guys you gotta train hard in repetition box is just repetition jab 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 right hook right hook right hook and you do it enough time in your body like Boosie said it and into the track it, it you you do it. You don't even have to think about it, you just do it. I I, I was losing a fight but I got my I got hit by a guy named Donald Stevens. Uh at the time he was ranked in top ten in the in, in the country uh as an amateur. And I, maybe as a pro tour, I'm not sure. But anyway, he hit me with a left hook and this is in the uh, National Golden Gloves in 1987 in Knoxville, Tennessee. He hit me with a left hook. And I, in the first round, and I don't remember the second round. I don't remember nothing until like the third round. Literally, I don't remember. I don't remember the second round. And I woke up the third round. And, you know, still, what are you doing? Hey, you lose. losing. What are you doing? You're losing the fight, man. Come on, get it. Hey, what round is it? Third round. Don't remember. You know what's amazing about that? Is that when we later watched the fight, I won the second round. Okay? So that fighting on instinct. See, when you do stuff enough, you, even when you're in that space where you're not really there, but you're there, you're gonna react on instinct. That's why this is another lesson. I don't go, I, I gotta say this lesson real quick for the youngsters. Whenever you think you got a guy hurt, you faint him. Okay? Listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. When that because when you're in that middle ground, uh where I know we was talking about rats, but this, this is more important for the kids to understand. Uh, when you're in that middle ground, when somebody's in that middle ground, when they're not, they're almost knocked out, but not, they're halfway there, then what happens is your natural instinct is to, is to survive, okay? So you always, if you think you stung a guy good, you faint him, because what's happening is that when you're in that middle ground, your brain can't, uh, uh, your brain can't decipher what's real and what's not real. Are you with me? So, so, so it's gonna, it's gonna try to conserve, uh, it's gonna try to survive. You follow what I'm saying? Come on, you gotta feel what I'm saying here. You, you gotta, you gotta, your, your natural reaction is to survive, to, to, to survive. So, what happens is when your brain's in that halfway mode, not conscious, but not unconscious, right there, it's gonna go for anything. You follow what I'm saying? That's how you tell if a guy's hurt. If you think you stung him and you don't know, just paint him. He's gonna go for him. If he goes for him right away, then you know we got him. Because you know, because he, he's he's acting on instinct. He's he's on instinct. That's why you fan the guy. If you fan the guy, he goes for it. Right, you, now you know what he went for. You fan him again, okay? You fan him, fan him a jab. He goes for the jab and boom, knock him off. Then you go and score. Chess, not checkers. <laughs> so anyway, let's go we'll go back over what I was saying about the about the, about the hand wraps and stuff. Uh, listen, you guys don't 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 trip too much and, and worry about. And, and this goes to every, this goes to your recreational. Cause I know a lot of uh, a lot of kids. A lot of women, uh, you know, a lot of people use the boxing work also. They're in the gym and they hit, I see them hitting the bag, pop, 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 pop. Some of them looking kind of goofy, but ah, that's okay. They're not boxing. So, you know, uh, hitting the bag and they, they use that bag and they, you know, they're doing their thing. They got you. Uh, but don't worry so much about your little bloody knuckles or your little scrape here because think about this. It's boxing. It's, it's, it's boxing. So why, why are you. Why, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Like, we, uh, why are we even talking about this? Like, this, this is something, and this is big. This is. I, I was researching it this morning. I was researching it. I could look on the computer right now. I, I was researching it, and this is big. People are really like asking questions. Like, like, like this. <clears throat> this question of how did I not scrape my knuckles, or how do I protect my knuckles, or how do I stop from injuring my knuckles? 
I'm from Square, but it's not even an uh, injury, it's just a skin tweak. I always stop that. This is a, 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 a search uh, that was like 10 million search by, like 10 million, right? It's a lot of people that are searching that keyword. It's a lot, you know what I mean? So that means that people, there's a lot of people out there that want to know about that, which tells me to stay in a boxing. Why are these knuckleheads in boxing that can't deal with this baby and knuckles up? Then you wonder why I'm ranting on about how soft boxing is these days. Wonder why I, why I talk about that stuff. Like, man, I don't even recognize the game no more. How do you old timers even deal? That's why I, I don't even watch fights anymore. I can't, I can't literally kid Well, all right, every now and then I watch, right? I, you know, the big ones I watch. But I'm saying I'm not a big, I mean, like back in the 80s and the, back in the day, man, I'd sit back and I, I, I'd watch every fight. You know what I mean? I, you know, but back then, that's all they did. They get you, get you, um, you know, it makes these fighters famous on, on network TV. They ain't trying to get paid like today. Should be letting them guys got famous on CBS Sports. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, I fall on CBS Sports. Uh, but if I'm saying back then, the, uh, the, 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 you know, they built, they built a rapport with the fans. You know, you know the fans. So when Sugar Ray Leonard's uh, kid is in the commercial, you know, you, you, boxing was a different sport back then, man. And I'm not, <laughs> I feel a rant coming on. I'm not, don't worry, I'm, I'm resisting the urge to just keep going at the new school jackasses, but I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not, you know, whatever. I, I, I get a lot of heat sometimes. You know, you guys, uh, you know, because there's a lot, of, let me just say this, there's a lot of good fighters. I know I rant on the new school fighters a lot. But like when I say Devin Haney, I don't detect. Uh, when I say I don't detect kill instinct in Devin Haney, you know I'm not. I don't got none. That's not a knock on his skills, and it's just I don't see that killer. You know, it's like like that rap song with Big was it Big? When Big said, "I don't feel that hardcore pill that you're screaming. Maybe I'm dreaming. This ain't Christopher Williams. Still some. mc has got to feel some. Caps have got to peel some. Like I don't feel that in him. I don't feel that. Ah, uh, ah, you know, I don't feel it. it is what it is." But that, that's not saying you're not a good fighter. I just you're a champion. You're a champion, you know, okay. Dude's a champion, so, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I, hats off to anyone that's a champion. Where's the belt? You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, yeah, there's some fighters out there that, 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 that I think that, like, that, you know, everyone know my favorite fighter is uh, uh, Javonta, uh, one of my favorite fighters, Javonta Tank Davis. I just like his tenacity. I like fighters that come in there and try to blast you out of there. I don't like all that. I mean, I know the emphasis these days on defense because Floyd started all that uh, shoulder roll, <laughs> all that stuff there, in the back, <laughs> all that stuff. I, I, I don't really like that style, you know what I mean? I don't care what you say, Floyd, that style's whack. Uh, it used to be generally accepted as being whack, but for some reason now, the, everyone's like, you're yeah, defending it. It's like, just, it's just ugly style to me. I, I don't like the style. I, I don't like, it's scary looking. Even when you catch, oh, you're going to get me going off. Even when you catch the still shots. Back in the day, when you get fighters in still shots, click, you catch them, ah, 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 catch them in the still shots. Even look at the still shots. These are the still shots. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on, man. Everything's running away. I tell kids all the time, don't ask me to train you. Don't even ask me to train you. If you First of all, you're not gonna listen. You, you gotta give me an affair. I don't like, I understand when you first start boxing, you, 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 your natural instinct is to run. You know, you don't want to get hit. So this stuff right here, act basically. The first thing I do with kids is break that. You're going to get punched. It's, gonna, it's boxing. Going to get hit. So let's stop trying to run and punch at the same time. You're either going to punch or we're going to run. We're not going to do it at the same time. This stuff, this stuff bothers me. Just, <laughs> look at the kids. All you got to do is look. Running away and punch at the same time. Get in there and stick out. Get in there and commit to your punches. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up because I, 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 I'm gonna wrap this up. I was really just uh, want to talk about uh, <laughs> every, every, you know, every video is starting to turn into an uh, angry man on the new school. But uh, I, I don't mean I, I don't want to be too hard on the kids. That you know, I, mean, I, I don't want to sound like one of them bitter old dudes that that you know. Oh, the party back in our day was twenty times better. <laughs> yeah, you got young bucks don't know a damn thing. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be one of them guys. That, Cause you know, he been back when I was younger, I didn't listen to him anyway. And just like they probably ain't listen to me anyway either. So that that's just the way the ball goes. But uh, you know, I like I, I don't wanna be one of them dudes, them bitter old dudes just complaining about the young school. Cause there's a lot of good young fighters out there. I, I you know, I, I I you know, there's a lot of them out there that, that, that I think is decent. But then uh, just I, I don't I don't necessarily think it's the fighters. I, I well uh -huh, yeah I do. It's when it's guys like Canelo aggravates me to no end. 
because you know, I just hate the stranglehold that him and Oscar got on the fight game. It's just, it's just ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's, it's just ridiculous. But, but that's a whole nother video. It's gonna take a long time. But matter of fact, that's the next video. Check, tune in for next. <coughs> excuse me, Greg, get, get old Greg Towns up from <laughs> uh, from uh, uh, from Punching Bag Skunk. Dot com. That uh, next episode is gonna be uh, 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 on Canelo Alvarez and why. I think he's ruling the box. That's right. I think I think him, between him, Floyd and Oscar, them three are ruling the box. Oh, and Floyd, oh, 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 just about already ruining. Floyd, Floyd, oh, Floyd is trying his hardest to just just ruin the boxing all together. You know what I mean? Just ruin it all together. You know what I mean? With, with all this money stuff. And I, I you see my videos. Oh, just go, just go check them out. Punching bags, going you know, everywhere. YouTube. Go to the website. Matter of fact, go to the website. We got some good articles. I actually wrote an article today. Uh, 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 so they, they, you know, you got some good stuff to look at. And you know, and, and, and again, you know, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you in the kiss her because I don't, I don't got no nickel. I don't got. What do they say? I ain't got no nickel in this court. I like I, 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 I'm, I'm just here to tell the truth. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, and I'm not. I don't get starstruck. I don't, I don't care. I don't care about interviewing nobody. I'm not trying to do a podcast and get famous. I, 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 that ain't got, I'm just, listen, that's why if you notice, I don't, hey, uh, hey, make sure you hit like, I, I, that ain't me, you ain't not, you ain't gonna hear me saying that mess, hey, make sure you hit like, I, I, look, you hit like if you enjoy the content, if you, if you enjoy real talk, then hit the like, if you enjoy my content, then subscribe, but I, I ain't up there trying to solicit, hey, hey, hit the like, bro. hey, hey, see, it's, it's over, where is it, oh it's, oh, it's over there, hit the like, that ain't me, I'm, I'm here to tell you, uh, the truth about boxing. Even with the, like I talked about today with the hammer. Look, the bottom line is, you gotta go through the, the rip, the ripping the skin. That, 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 that's the, uh, it's the rite of passage. Let's put it that way. That's a rite of passage. You just got, you should, this last thing I'm gonna say. When I was young, these things gave me a badge of honor, a badge of pride. I would rip my knuckles up. I'm almost going to school the next day. Like, hey, look what I did. Hey, you know, dudes know what I'm talking about. I mean, real men know what I'm talking about. I mean, I mean, I'm like, hey, look at what I did. It's great. How'd you do that? Yeah, I had a punch. Yeah, I was banging the bag so hard. He just ripped my skin right off. That, that, that was a badge, man. You know what I'm saying? That was a badge. Got a black eye. Hey, what the hell was you at? Yeah, yeah, I was smart, man. Tough spot, three rounds. And this is stuff. So these are rights of past. This is what made us tougher. But I'm going to let it go right there because if I get on the... The new school, old school toughness meter. I'm gonna beat you down for another hour. Cause I can go for another hour, that. But I ain't gonna go. You just gotta tune in next time. Punchingbagskunk.com. Go check the website out. And uh, 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 go. We got we on YouTube. Uh, Punchingbag Skunk. Uh, we on Red. We're everywhere. So you know you can easily find us uh, 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 on all the social media platforms. And uh, there's there's, there's plenty. There's any any any. I'm talking about a lot of fighters. So. You know, you can check it out. I'm see you guys later, all right? I know I'm forgetting something. This will aggravate me because I, I don't really get rest of it. So, you know, and I, oh, why are you, you say that? It's a cousin. Duh. You know, but it is what it is. So anyway, listen, guys. We'll see you next time, all right? Have a good thing. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Put your mask on. Peace out.